Welcome to CSL TV, and I just hope you guys are having a beautiful blessed day. Now, if you're new to the channel, this is just a review, a reaction, as well as an informational channel. Hopefully, the informational part help you in someone out, and we pretty much just watch videos and talk about them. And I just got to thank the folks that's been rocking with me, because you could be somewhere else trying to find these videos. But yeah, you're here rocking out with CSL TV, and I always got to show appreciation, and I, sh I appreciate that so much. But y'all already know, we don't like making a long intro, because y'all came here to see what's going on, so let's get it. This story is tragic, and we have to warn you, the details may be upsetting. This is Micah Miller, the 30-year-old wife of a South Carolina pastor. Micah was found dead at a state park on April 27th, just two days after serving divorce papers to her husband, Pastor John Paul Miller. Miller is the pastor of a conservative Christian congregation in Myrtle Beach. But before her death, Micah shared several disturbing fears with her sister, including saying, If I end up with a bullet in my head, it was not by me, it was my husband. Micah had met John Paul when she was just 14 or 15, and he was nearly twice her age. Throughout their marriage, she reportedly endured violence and manipulation, leading her to fear for her own life. According to the ultra-conservative New York Post, in the lead-up to her death, Micah even found a tracking device on her car and had her tires slashed. She blamed her husband, who later admitted to the sabotage in emails. Miller had apparently suffered from severe mental health issues. But authorities have just revealed what actually killed Micah. They say she turned a gun on herself. In our world today, both intimate partner violence and untreated mental health issues are all too prevalent, and experts say the main cause of both is the immoral system of capitalism that we live in. Many people are unable to get proper treatment for mental health issues because mental health care is often not covered by insurance or is too expensive because we have a system designed to return profit for Wall Street, not help people on Main Street. And the financial pressures of our system, which doesn't provide the basic necessities of life, food, medicine, shelter, and a stable income, all too often puts pressures on relationships that wouldn't be there if people could simply afford to live. That pressure manifests in stress, tension, and often abuse. If you are struggling with mental health, know that there's help available. Call or text 988. Man, this is crazy now. In the beginning, they had me wondering if the pastor had did something because just because he a pastor does not mean he's a 100% rightful and righteous person. You know what I'm saying? So for a minute, they had me fooled. I was thinking the pastor might have done something to her because of the whole divorce. But we all know mental health played a big part in this after they did the investigation. And it's just sad that we live in a world that's supposed to be so rich and so this and that. But at the same time, when you think about it, it's like, man, you see shit like Skid Row, all these people here, there, there, everywhere, people living on the street, you know, people losing their job left and right, company just letting folks go, using them. You know, it's just a lot going on in the world. And we're not saying this is her case, but we do know mental health is going to be on the rise because for one, they're not really taking this shit serious. And two, that is what's going that is what's crippling the world i will say this country but y'all already know what's going on all across the world and how nobody's getting along and this person versus that person type shit it was declared dead found breathing at a funeral home and this happened in nebraska now 74 year old woman who was pronounced dead in hospice care was found to be breathing after being transferred to a funeral home after the mistake was discovered, Constant Glance of Nebraska was transported to a hospital alive where she died later that day. Authorities ordered an autopsy to determine how the mistake was made. And my thing is, how in the can you say somebody is dead and they really not dead? And then to have them be at the funeral home because she got transported there alive just to be transported back alive and later die. Now, I think she died because of all the stress and all the shit that they didn't put her through probably in the hospice, or it also could have been the mix of that old age and the transportation of them, them saying that she was dead. Now, y'all let me know on this one how y'all feel. Um, have y'all ever, ever had to go through something like this? Have y'all ever ever 
will put a loved one in hospice again. If y'all ever heard or dealt with something like this and we're like, you know what, we're just gonna move next time we have to do something like this, or better yet, take care of the loved one yourself until, you know, their rest in place, come get them.